There may be times at home when you need a power supply. Maybe you're hooking up a circuit to a breadboard. You just don't have something convenient. But you have your analog discovery too. And that has a power supply built in. Uh, zero to five volt supply. Low current, but it would work for uh, multiple ICs. So let's take a look at how that works. We bring up the waveform software. I have it in a limited window. We're going to click the supplies button to open up that window. And as usual, anything in the analog discovery too, um, if this green arrow is available, it means it's not running. So I'm going to click that to make it run. And now we see our interface down below. So whenever you work with a power supply, you have to be able to set the voltages, adjust them to different levels, um, and work there. So that's what we're going to explain. Um, down below here is a nice little feature called the system monitor. I had that clicked on to start. I'll click it off and click it back on. You can see that we can look at the USB voltage and the USB current. Um, that's running the analog discovery to device and the temperature of the, in the analog discovery to just a nice little feature added on. It's there. So the operation of the power supply, there's this concept of master on and off. If I click that, you see the two options there. When this is off, that means neither of these supplies are going to be operational, no matter whether they're on or off. Um, so it's like a, a master control of both supplies at the same time, in case you want them to come on at the same time. So I'm going to put these supplies in the on state they're going to stay ready because the master enable is off and as soon as i click the master enable you can see these come on so if you want to use that feature to have both supplies come on at some same time that's great uh, let's work with the the v plus supply um, we're not going to turn that on yet but there are show you a couple different ways to set the voltages first thing if i click on this gear icon you can see that i can set the minimum and maximum voltage for the adjustment and you'll notice that my slider range changes when i do that i'm going to change that back to five volts uh, so that's one way to um, set the voltages or limit the amount of voltage that you want to come out on your supply Another way to set your voltage is just pull this drop down and pick the voltage that you want. Uh, if I pick 3.3 volts from here, you'll notice that my slider will go to the 3 volt range. It will not change the maximum on there. So that's another way to choose the voltage that you want to have output. And then the last way, which is just Windows uh, compatible, what we're used to, uh, is to drag the slider and put the voltage on there. And you can type, if you want 4.5 volts, you can type in here and hit enter. Um, so that shows you how to do that. I'm going to move this back to 5 volts. Uh, notice that we have also a minus 5 volt supply. And we can make adjustments to the minus 5 volt supply in the same manner. Another nice little feature, sometimes you need plus and minus voltages at the same value. If you click on the tracking button as you set the voltages on one or the other, the other one moves consistently with it and you can do that. So I'm going to unhook the tracking voltages. I'm going to slide the plus 5 volts back to 5 volts. And we're going to turn the supply on. And that means that now we have an output on our device itself. So let's head over to my test setup. I'm going to hold this by hand. So hopefully it's not um, too jumpy and go. What you can see is I hook the V plus and the V minus connections from the analog discovery to up to a breadboard. So I have a place to make connections to it. I've also hooked up. A meter, you can see the plus lead of my meter hooked to the V plus supply, the minus lead, like any good technician, all the grounds are connected in common, and I have an inexpensive meter hooked up here in measuring. You'll notice before we went, we turned our power supply on to 4 point, or 5.0 volts, we're measuring 4.997. Uh, who knows which is accurate, the meter or the output of the supply. Um, but pretty close to what we wanted. If I go back, 
let me switch back to the menu and I use my slider and come down to 3.108 volts. I go back to the meter itself and I see that I have 3.107 volts off or close to what I set up and measuring with the setup that I have. Um, so this thing's pretty easy to use, um, pretty convenient, I guess I would say. And if you're going to work some labs from home, might be, if you have your analog discovery tool with you, you don't have to get another supply out to work with it.